This tutorial will show you how to integrate ChatGPT into Max MSP. The code is fairly simple and will look something like this by the end. There are many applications of using ChatGPT directly in Max. In this example, I use ChatGPT to dynamically modulate a VST to get a desired sound. As I haven't trained the assistant, you can see it doesn't get it right at first, but we can give it more instructions to train as we go. I noticed it sounded like a square wave and asked it to sound more like a horn. As you can see, it understands basic synthesis and surprisingly is able to generate a desired sound based on prompts. In this next example, I prompt the assistant to generate jitter objects in a 3D environment. Again, this shows how AI could be useful for setting up a template world in Max, which can often be a tedious task. We can also create synthesizers and audio effects from scratch. With more training and prompting, this could be used to create complex synthesizers by simply telling ChatGPT what you desire. To use ChatGPT in Max, you need to first install Visual Studio Code and also Node.js if it's not already on your PC, and I've left links in the description. Finally, we need to obtain an API key which will give us access to ChatGPT from Max. Assuming you already have an open AI account, head over to the API key page, click on Products, API Login. Once you've signed up for an account and logged in, you can create an API key by going to Manage Projects and scroll down to API Keys. Simply click Create a new secret key to get your API key. Once it's created, store the key somewhere as you'll need it later. Note that you may need to add your credit card in the billing section and put a small fee equivalent to $5 to $10 in your account to access the API. The charge is based on how many words ChatGPT generates in its responses, but is typically very cheap. Roughly 15,000 words would cost a dollar using the latest AI model. First, let's create a folder to store our node script. Make sure it's added to the Max user search path so that Max can find it easily. In that folder, we'll create a new script called maxtutorialassistant.jxs and add an environment file to store our open AI key. So where I've written your API key, put your own API key in with single quotation marks wrapping it. In the main file, we'll start by allowing access to the .n file by using the require command. Next, we'll import the OpenAI library 
and create a constant called max for interacting with MaxMSP. To set up our folder, install the .env, OpenAI, and Max libraries via the Node Package Manager. These libraries will allow us to use our OpenAI key stored in the .env file. We then access OpenAI using our OpenAI key that we placed in the environment file. Now let's create a function called process prompt. This function will take text from maps, process it via the OpenAI API, and send the response back to Max. Since we're waiting for a response, this function needs to be asynchronous using the async command. We'll define a constant called response that sets the parameters for our AI system. Here, we can choose different models in the API based on what we need. But keep in mind that some models are more expensive, so choose carefully. The messages parameter will create a test prompt with the role set to user, that's us, sending a message to ChatGPT. We'll keep our max tokens small for now, as tokens represent the text, represent text link in the response. The stop parameter will tell the AI where to stop. After that, We'll extract the reply from the API response, store it in a constant called data, and send it back to the first outlet of the node script object that we'll make in maps. We will also add error handling to post any issues in the Maps console for debugging. If you're unfamiliar with text-based programming, don't worry too much about the details, as you won't have to modify the main part of this code much. Finally, we'll create a handler that tr triggers the process prompt function whenever our node script receives input. For now, we'll use a bang to trigger it just to keep it simple.
And we can move over to Max to see if this works. So here, we'll create a node.script object and link it to the new file we just made. Change the name of this to whatever you called the node script. Next, we'll add a start, stop, and debug messages, plus a bang. Start the script with a start message hit the bang, and it will send the test prompt to the API and return the reply in max. So back in our script, let's update our function to handle custom text prompts. Replace the bang with a text message and add a prompt parameter to our process prompt function. Now that this is set up, you can send any text you like from Max. Let's go back to Max and test this out. Let's try a simple calculation to test our system. Note that we need to wrap the message in quotation marks so that Max reads them as a string, not a symbol. And we prepend the message text to the prompt so that our handler triggers the function. As we can see, it's now working as expected. But let's check what happens if we reference our conversation in a prompt. As you can see, our assistant doesn't rem remember the last message we sent to it. So to fix this, we need a way to store our conversation history with the AI. To store our conversation history, Let's create an empty array called conversation history. In our process prompt function, we can push the prompt sent from max to our array. Each prompt from max will get added here, so ChatGPT can reference our past messages. Now, when we send a prompt, new prompt, ChatGPT will have more context from previous messages, making it much more interactive. We'll also add the assistant's responses to this history too, marking them with the role assistant. Now that's complete, we can go back into Max and test this out. We'll use the simple calculation from the previous example. Then we'll make another prompt that requires knowledge of the previous prompt. As you can see, it's now working as we expected, and we finally have ChatGPT inside Maps. To guide the assistant's responses, we can add specific instructions, which is helpful for formatting the response so that it's useful in maths. 
In the .n file, create a variable called assistant instructions, where you define how the sh assistant should respond, such as only return numbers. This helps ensure responses are usable directly in map. In this way, we don't have to format the response in max, and we can use the number directly to, for example, change the value of a slider or dial in max. In our node script, we'll initialize conversation history with these instructions at the start, setting the role to system so ChatGPT knows their instructions, not user messages. As this is a Max MSP assistant, we can also set a default instruction to let the system know we're working with Max MSP in the case that no custom instructions were set. Now let's test this in Max. Let's also use the to symbol and from symbol objects so that we don't have to add quotation marks. So now that the assistant is only sending numbers, we can directly control parameters in max, such as sliders and dials. And that's it. You're all set up to use ChatGPT in Max MSP. If you want this file, it's available on my Patreon, and the link is in the description, along with an AI assistant that dynamically creates Max objects for things like synths or visuals with JITGL mesh, as shown in the start of this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, and I'd also be keen to see what people use this for. Happy patching, and I'll see you next time.